Welcome back to Factorio Space Exploration. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on our beautiful journey. We're continuing up here in space on our Navus Orbit space base and there's still a lot of work to do. So in the start of the uh, the space exploration series, we built this bus space and uh, now it has, uh, it has it has dawned on me that with space trains, it just doesn't work anymore. Well, I mean, it does work, but I'd rather want a classical Nilaus version of a space uh, blocks here. So what we're going to do today is we are going to continue and uh, take things out of of the space bus stuff that we have already built, but we're going to build it in a much cleaner way and uh, utilizing our train network in a much better way. So this part here is completely mm, messed up. What we did last time was take some of the generic things like uh, chemical gels, the thermal fluid, the cosmic water, and the polished uh, here are the blank cards and what was the last thing is just re scrap recycling so utilizing those things and the fact that we now brought bring things in on all locations we actually uh, can start working things on really quickly and uh, that's what we're going to do so the first thing we want to do is work on a design for space and uh, space what is it called what are the, whatever one two now we'll just get them next to each other here and here. There we go. And they will just be one further out, I guess. There, I want four distance because then I can take a little one like that. And that will go here, here. We get a, must have a, there are substations. Funny how that's how we do substations. That will be just put right in the middle. And we need a model here. All that and of course there we go that's gonna be our baseline and we're gonna make two of those like that and then we need to have what we already have down here we need this part basically and build it somehow up here there and I will also need a big block oops like that maybe Hmm, yeah, it is kind of a little bit off and this will be just an open one and I'll just get these five items directly in here. That one and we can get from this location as well. We are going to get that one. So. That's all done, all said and done here and here. And then it's a little bit off, right? So let's try to rebalance it so that it looks a little better. There you go. So this is uh, just basically what we want in terms of science facility. I am bringing all the science inbound here. So here I just need to make all the science set up here. I'll just take 200 of each because, well, why not? Here we go. We have now uh, set up everything to request and all the stuff that we have requested or have produced is coming in. All the stuff that we haven't produced, but we have research that we can actually make it. I've just set it up and you can see that they're red and then eventually they'll be coming in here as well. And that's basically the first one. What we need, now need to do is a little bit uh, cumbersome because we actually have to uh, delete all of uh, this part and this part and well, maybe not these ones just yet, but... Well, actually, yeah, we need to bring all of the stuff in here so that it um, it's available for, for this network. Cool. So that is the plan. The next thing we want to do is actually remarkably simple. And that's the beauty of this. We're simply going to make a manufacturer. We're going to go over here and do space science. And then we can say blue. We have it on train network. Solid rocket fuel have it on train network. Stone have it on train network. Cosmic water, we have it on train network. And then, of course, the space. Let's actually do it this way. The space trains, one, two, three, four. So I have four things here, five, six, seven, eight. So six, eight items inbound. Well, it should be pretty simple. We'll just make it like so. Oh, there and there. So nothing goes in outbound because outbound will be on train, on, on the uh, what's it called? Yeah, they'll be by robots because they are going to be so low quantity. If we look at this part, this will be producing at zero point, not much. And oh, I don't want it like this. I think that we we're looking at something along this line, maybe one point 
three, maybe one more. Yeah. Something like this. Uh, actually, that's not really how I want it. I want this to be taken out. Because we also need the space transport belts. So I also need to make a place for the space transport belt. Let's make that here. And that will be the transport belt, like so. And then I can just make another module. Let's make that here. And that will be speeding up. And then we need a... Yeah, and then make sure that it's powered. Okay, so if we look at this, there's a small deficit of belts, but we are now producing 1.7 and that's totally enough. So we just need to hook this up and set up all the trains here as well. And now we hooked up all the train stations. So all we need to do now is uh, actually just enable it to come in and that should be getting us a steel train and there is a, another train coming here what we have to be aware of is that anytime oops uh anytime we have a train station that has an outbound then it that outbound must have a, uh, a build to uh, or a train available because all provider stations must be uh, must have a station or it must have a train available that's kind of how i do this and if i forget it then it's gonna mess up okay so they're coming in here Let's see, the next one's coming into this location. Please do. Yep, one out of one and one out of one. Ah, oh, man, I love this part. Yeah, I love my train network. It's so good. And up here, lo and behold. Oh, man, so good. All right, come on, Blues. Come on, Blues, you can do it. You can do it, right? Right? Yeah, yes. And the Blues are coming in. Great. So that means everything is coming in here. It's working just fine. If I wanted to, I could always just throw in a few of these. Uh, just to make sure that we lower the power consumption here and what we're now doing is just making some space signs space signs will fill up here i think it'll actually be nicer if we build it to constrain it by saying no more space signs than 1000 in logistics network because there's probably going to be something somewhere there we go there's already a lot how much uh, that's yeah 1000 already so that's um, not a big surprise but we uh, we have this one and that's working and look how easy it is like just set up the train networks just set up this with more better beacons we can get or better modules we can get uh, faster here we could also just throw more modules in if we want to and so we can move on to the next and so the next one is pretty much the same let's have a look well it's not quite but it has a little bit of difference so utility science now has Two items that come in, solar panels and efficiency modules, then uh, the cryonet rod is from the network. The machine learning data is something we are going to need for a few things. Machine learning data, if you look at how much it's actually being used for, it's used for five things, such as utility science pack, efficiency modules, production science pack, productivity modules, and speed modules. So basically, machine mo uh, modules level four need this. Cool. So let's have a dedicated location for that. But we also need to build some inbound here. And some inbound here and then we should have a little module in the middle or a beacon in the middle damn i love these beacons they're so nice they're so nice way of doing it and that will be here okay so we are going to let's have a look at what it is we want that is green and copper so we need copper cables yes we could do copper cables on Navis, and we could do these on Navis and bring it up but since uh, none of these items here can be productivity modeled, then I might as well build them here. Otherwise, I would need dedicated rockets for it, and I don't really want that. Uh, so this is uh, this is how I want it. Granted, of course, that each of these items are being brought up, and then um, it's it's much more compact to build the solar panels and fly them up here. But I prefer it this way, to be perfectly honest. So that's why we do this. And that's going to be here, and that's going to be here, here, and here, and then I can get that one and then you can see this is green and copper which is also green and copper here and then on top of that it's two more things so that we have now four items over for inbound here and then five six and then seven and eight and then we also have a ninth one with uh, with the utility uh, with this uh, what's it called the junk cards that we also need to bring out so we need to build one of these designs is going to be a three train design which is kind of kind of like this i guess 
Let's build it like this and well good thing is not hooked up yet because we don't want anything coming in here at this point. So that has to be cleaned up but the other ones are just going to be more simple. They are going to be two in, two in and that means we have nine requirements here. The cool thing about this one particularly is that this will be where we get, we can now do, uh, hold on, let me just take exactly that out. Because I know that we have one that we're just going to copy paste this one, for example. Yeah, this is going to be a copy paste that we're going to use for a lot of different things. Because we will get, let's do that. There. We will get the situation that is here, where we get the, well, where is it here? Request the cool one and export the cold, the warm one. So that'll be a normal build. Let's uh, set this up and get it ready to fire. And this one is now ready to go, except it really isn't because I am assuming that we have a location that makes machine learning data and we do not. So we need to make a location that makes machine learning data. And that's going to be uh, the next block here. That's going to be built over on this location. Let's do that. And well, that's going to be supercomputers. All right, so let's figure out how they are going to be built. And here, let's see. What are you going to make? You're going to make machine data, machine learning data. And you will have one, two inbound and one, two outbound. So I'm going to be building it like so. And these are atrociously slow, so I'm going to de be modulating everything. Uh, then we are going to get there. That'll probably be, we'll get it on this side. I don't know where exactly it, we'll, we'll figure this, we'll figure this out. There, and then here, or something to that effect. Um, then we are going to get inbound here. This is the middle one. Middle one is inbound because the quantity is not very high, so I can easily do stuff like this. And then outbound will just be on this outer belt, which means we can just, uh, yeah, we'll just merge the two outer belts. The quantities are really low. And I'll just also get something like this here. Yeah. Yeah, that one needs to go. And let's see. So that is something like this. And that will be linking off to the next one. And the other will be, yeah, something to that effect. Right, so that should be kind of a module. And except obviously this is not keeping up, but neither is the other one. So we'll probably do something like this. And where do we have a substation? So we can put substation and substation. Great. So that's the module we want. And then we can just make uh, two, four, four. Yeah, that looks like a good number. Then let's have a look at what we need inbound. We need one, two inbound, two outbounds and also the fuel inbound outbound. So that is also easy to set up. So let's just set up this. We already have, hmm, where is it? Well, this one, we already have this one and just need it there. So this is already done. And then we just need some normal stations down here. That one. And then we need the outbound stations up top. That's also done. And then it's just wiring the whole thing up. Now this is sort of uh, patched up and ready to go. I have set up the provider trains up here. I have set another provider here because this is the uh, lukewarm thermal fluid and that needs to be brought out as well. And uh, now we're getting these two in. That is the, uh, the data cards, which come from our data card recycler and also from sort of the, yeah, well, the data card recycler and production facility is coming in. We're getting the fuel coming in here. Is this one, this is already done. And then we're getting the thermal fluid out and that should get us 
all the things that we need in order to get started on this. There we go. That's getting started. We're getting the first materials outbound and they should be fed into the trains. This scrap train will of course go to the scrapyard where it will be uh, reconverted into stone, iron, steel, uh, stone, iron, copper and uh, heavy oil at a very low rate. But hey, it's free stuff. And also we're going to make these cargo wagons. Now we can then fly on over to the other location because now that can actually start requesting the information we have. This one also has a train station, a uh, train for the, uh, the warm, luke, lukewarm uh, thermal fluid. There we go. We get the other type inbound. Here we have the three stations. This is a little unfortunate. We have to use three stations. I don't like the three station setup as much as I like the two station setup, but we get the but here manually stopped that needs to be enabled and actually that means the other one is probably also manually stopped and there we go and that goes in here then we got some cryonite we got the, this one not quite yet but we will and over here we'll get uh what is it glass and steel yes and up here we'll have the copper and green circuits coming in hopefully there and we should just wait until that comes in and then it starts working. And obviously the one that takes the longest time to get in is this part here for the machine learning because we had to rebuild it while the other ones were already built in buffers. Uh, this one is what? Oh, that's the junk cards out. But nothing happens until we start working. We'll get some junk cards out. And how many junk cards? Oh, four junk cards. That's actually high quantity junk cards. This one is constrained to 1000. So we now have the utility science reproduced and it is now time for us to go onwards to the next one which is not really going to be much more difficult to be honest uh, let's have a look at it well maybe it is uh, there this will be production science there we go what do we have productivity modules is something we need uh, the iron ingots that's something if we look at the way i did it previously i'm just going to copy that i am needing in so low quantity that i'm just uh, shooting it in here once in a while to this location so no problem with that that's, that's going to be replicated volcanite blood we got it volcanite block we got that machine learning data we got that now and then we need plasma stream as well so plasma stream we need to make and then we need to make productivity modules locally and um let's see i'm gonna need a three space in here and you will then be making productivity modules there and we'll get like all the usual stuff this one has to give one closer and we'll get liquids out from this side. And uh, let's get you up here. Get that one. And a substation. Come on, substation here. And we'll just tag it so that it gets connected. Speed wise, looks fine. There's a surplus now. And this will need green and glass. So it's green and glass. One, two, three, four, five inbounds. And this one is not coming in. The iron ingots is not coming in from uh, train setup. It's just coming in with the uh, shooty shooty. So again, we'll build some really straightforward setup here. I love the fact that we've gotten to a point where we have so much of the things done that we can actually, um, yeah, things will work faster there. Um, and then we'll take some of it out because I don't want this and I don't need this either. So this will be the stream inbound, which we don't have yet, but it will. And over here we'll have the two ingredients here. Down here we'll have the other two ingredients, the vulcanite block and the machine learning, and then plasma stream. And then we also have junk cards. Yes, junk cards will then go up to this location. Clean it up and uh, then we can get started on the plasma stream build. And production science is set up and ready to go. We have the items coming in. Everything is set up and they are desperately requesting stuff inbound. We have set up the shooting from Navis coming in here with this uh, bucket here. And it basically says if it's less than 200, shoot one more time. So we always have a buffer of 200, which should be plenty. So all this is ready and nothing is coming in because uh, I've not completed the train network, but also because we don't have the plasma stream. So let's have a look at the plasma stream. I'm going to build the plasma stream in one of these locations and that will be let's see uh, that one two three is probably going to be the best setup like this and like this oops 
here. And that will be set to plasma stream. That's the only thing I have. And I will then get a module right in the middle. Like that. And these are probably pretty slow. So we'll just buff that as well. And we'll get a built in here because it's only taking stone and then chemical gel. Chemical gel is going to be a lot of, of usage here. And uh, let's see. So I think that I want these to be outbound also in the middle so let's try and take this out for now Whew. um you go here and you go here and then go that yes that's looking pretty nice that's the outbound yeah and then we inbound on the outside sure there 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 that's on the outside looks good then i am going to need Inbound, 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 inbound. And I need a power pole somewhere. Can that be made here? Sure. There and... I wonder if that's the correct... There and that is... Well, not the last one. There. And we can just build it. there instead and let's get some power just to get the sense of how much this actually is producing build build and build and now we can see how much it's actually producing that is producing 160 i think that's enough that's uh this needs 100 to make three of them so yeah, okay. That that seemed fine. This one, just place it in the middle. And this is excruciatingly simple in terms of inbounds and outbounds. They just need an inbound here and an outbound here. And that outbound will just only have one station. I mean, that is just super simple. So as I said, super simple, ready to go. And all we need to do now is set up a train here. That should bring us the stone inbound. Yes, there's a train coming. And the... Uh, chemical gel is coming inbound now this is this is a constant consumption of chemical gel which is the chemical gel is super expensive though it is 10 chemical gel for 400 plasma stream so there is that uh, it goes in goes up all the way up and then pushes in here are you set up your such manual but let's just get you here and then from here i can just go build ah Mm, let me see. Let's just get something like this. Here. 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 Good. Now I'm just waiting for this to complete. Well, that's probably going to take forever. So uh, we'll wait for... Will we go check out if things are coming in correctly here at the other location? When we now set up everything. And then we'll send out our train as the final part. Well, that's not really working, is it? Ah. Someone forgot to set up things. So I'd love to say that that was deliberate because that means we get an opportunity to set up our train ourselves. So you can see how it's set up. It's pretty simple. Go from the provider station, full cargo, go to the drop-off station, empty cargo, one. Every provider station must have a train, but I only add the train when the provider station the provider train is actually active so or when there is an actual demand for it then i add it to the provider that, that makes sense yeah otherwise because if there's no requester station i can't build the train schedule so i build the train schedule when i have both the provider and the requester uh, but there should be one train for each provider chest so here are we coming yeah let's just skip it off uh, so we get this one in and then we can see that we get the last of these three sciences going and this one is also constrained to max 1000 which means it's not actually going to start working. In here, yeah, we got the machine learning. Uh, we got this. And we got the productivity modules. And we got the iron ingots. So the only thing missing... Oh, we got... Oh, look at that. It come, came in. So the only thing missing is the train that we just sent up. The Vulcanite blocks. And that's probably because it takes forever to actually load it at this station. Uh, yeah, it's, it's back to 200. So it takes a while to load the train. It's not going to be a concern sort of when things are operational. But of course, for the startup, it's taking a little bit of time. So let's just get you in here with your 3K. So we can see that all this is in operation. And 
lo and behold, we now have the next production science. And it's not even going to be exported because we already have a ton of that already created. So what we've done now is we have built six blocks in this one video. I think that's a pretty good achievement. We've now covered all the three initials. So what we need to do now in terms of uh, of the next in next episode is to be making the astronomics and the energy science. Those are the ones that we the only ones we have. So we'll get started on that. And in order for us, we can just sort of hint at it. I want to make significant data as a dedicated block. For example, there. So that, or maybe even up here, never mind. Can't move it once, once you place it. But the idea is that we will have different recipes and depending on the tech level, when we get the new recipe, we will bring in the astronomics insights at what are we building the insights, the specific insights, and then make it convert it into significant data. And then the significant data will be sent out to where it ever goes. All that will be by train network, but that means this one will probably not make a make the science it might actually just be focused on making the insight because the insight is what we need so that means the catalog all these data all that stuff so that's something we have to figure out next time that also means we need better cooling so this is definitely not we also at some point need to make solar blocks and we need to make uh, a new hub so there's tons of stuff we need to to still do in this series so i hope that you want to follow along it is uh, every sunday on twitch tv slash nilas at 8 p.m central european time and of course try to make a video every week to summarize what we are doing and how we are progressing if you want to get access to the safe game those are available to patron supporters so thank you very much everyone for supporting i am not releasing blueprints because they are so specific to this mod pack so if you want uh, these designs then it is uh, for uh, it, it is for uh, patron supporters. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.